In less than five minutes from now, you'll know exactly how to create a stunning header graphic for your new website, exactly like the one you can see on your screen, but with your own headlines and words added to it. You can create these headers by editing professionally designed template graphics in Photoshop. We have just downloaded 188 of these headers and created the header you see on the screen. So, let's go and choose this template, show you how we did it, and how you can edit it yourself for your own website. After we've downloaded all 188 header templates from the PhotoshopGraphicDesign.com site, we double-click on the 188 templates file here on the desktop. Then, double-click on header 123 headers 14 file. Then, double-click on headers 123 headers 14 again. We can now see two lots of files. One is the JPEGs that will become the completed header. The other lot is Photoshop or PSD files we can edit or modify any way we want. The two that we are interested in are both 162 here. If we double click on JPEG 162, we can see how this header looks before editing and we just need to change these two lines of text. So if we close down this JPEG and double click on the 162 Photoshop or PSD file, Photoshop will open up and the header we want to edit will load up automatically. For this short video, we're using Photoshop Elements 5.0 to edit the templates, but Photoshop 6.0 is currently available on a free trial basis in the Adobe.com website, as well as Photoshop CS3. There's even a free Photoshop style editor, very similar to Photoshop, called GIMP that you can use to edit these headers. As you can see, all we need to do is edit or manipulate these two items here, the main title of the header and the subtitle located here. First we'll edit this subtitle. Simply double click on this box where it says your own company slogan. You'll notice this has highlighted the text. In Photoshop once we do this we can edit anything about this text. We can edit the fonts, italics, size, centralize it, change colors. We can also move the text as well, like so. However, in this short video, we're just going to edit the text and move it around to where we want it. So, with the text highlighted, we just need to type in anything we want. You can type in your website name here, or just a phrase, or anything you want. We'll type in, that can increase your sales by 300%. We have now edited the text. All we need to do now is move it to where we want it. So, with the text still highlighted, you should notice that the cursor has a black arrow with a cross next to it. We can now move this item by clicking and dragging the highlighted text item anywhere outside the image to where we want it. All we need to do now is the same with the main title. We simply double click on this box, here where it says your company name. Again, you'll notice this has highlighted the text. We can edit the fonts, size, centralize it, change the colors. We can also move the text. We just need to type in anything we want. You can type in your website name here, or just a phrase, or anything you want. We'll type in impressive headers. We have now edited the text. All we need to do now is move it to where we want it, as before. So, with the text still highlighted, notice that the cursor has a black arrow with a cross next to it. We can now move this item by clicking and dragging the highlighted text item anywhere outside the image to where we want it. That's the whole procedure to the editing process. All we need to do now is save the header graphic in JPEG format to our desktop. Then, we can add it to our website. So, if we click on File, 
Save As, Save In, Desktop, File Name, then type on the keyboard, Header for Website, Under Format, choose JPEG, click on Save, and under JPEG Options, simply click OK. Your header should now be complete and located on your desktop. But first, we're also going to save the file in Photoshop or as a PSD file. Then we can re-edit it, if we need to, any time in the future. So again, click on File, Save As, Save in Desktop. For file name, type on the keyboard, Header for Website. For format, choose Photoshop, or PSD file this time. Then, click on OK. Your editable PSD, or Photoshop, header graphic should now be on your desktop. In fact, you should now have two files on your desktop. One will be the completed JPEG header graphic. The other should be the Photoshop or PSD file, which you can edit. All we need to do now is shut down Photoshop, so we can go and take a look on the desktop to view our completed header. Here they are. This is the JPEG, and here is the PSD file. If we simply double-click on the JPEG file we created, we can now see our complete professionally designed header for our website. All we need to do is insert it into our web page at the top using an HTML editor and then upload the whole page to the internet or to your hosting company's server. There are another 187 professionally designed header graphics that you can create as easy as this one and including this one available at www.photoshopgraphicdesign.com We hope you've enjoyed our video have fun, take care, and bye for now.